All right, welcome everybody out. Um, tonight's topic is your gut, your power. And we have Tilly as our presenter. She's, um, I know she's helped a lot of people with um, gut problems and she's, she's gonna go into that, um, why you need to pay attention to your gut and, and all sorts of things. And it kind of ties in with the topic we just um, discussed uh, with Coriander. Um, and you can read about this. I'll, I'll just go ahead and share with you the screen. Yeah. Um, she's put together a post here, um, jadebalden.com, your gut, your power. Um, and so I'll turn the time over to Jade to. Hey, thank you, Ben. This is one of those things that I just really love and I tell people all about it all the time and uh, I get to post and write about it now. Um, so guys, you've heard lots of things about gut health, right? Um, but I want to tell you a little bit more if you, um, allow me to hear about the physical side and your spiritual side and your emotional side because it's all interrelated okay so i feel like this is you know understanding this is one of the biggest you know um revelations okay game changer for me um and uh you know i feel like it's a secret because nobody knows much about it but i want to share it with everybody because it's information that everybody needs all righty Anyone with questions or comments so far? Just please go ahead and ask, because I'm just going to plow forward and, yeah, I don't want to leave anybody behind with questions. All good? Alrighty. So our gut health is very important because it affects our brain function, okay, and our information processing ability. It helps with our energy and vitality. It helps with absorption of nutrients helps with our immunity and helps with weight management. So if anybody is trying to have healthy weight and finding it very difficult, okay, we're going to focus on gut and you'll be surprised that you don't have to exercise so much, <laughs> yay, and still have the great health and um, weight that you are looking for. Because sometimes this here is what stops people from fully succeeding in their weight management um, mm. uh, you know, experiences and uh, endeavors. Alrighty, so let's plow into this. So physically, your gut has a lot more brain chemicals than your brain does. It's, uh, you know, they call it neurotransmitters. Um, so when those neurotransmitters are sick, it means that we have um, a, difficulty t a difficult time remembering and retaining information because that brain chemical isn't uh, active, right? And some people complain about brain fog. Okay? And some people just want to fix the brain fog or wh whatever it is. I think it's in their head, but it's not. It's in their gut, okay? And the other thing too is um, you might have physical manifestations of um, sinus problems. And I didn't put it down here because that was just too much information. So when people have sinus problems, I tell people to put digest in, right, there on their cheeks, right under their eyes, okay? So not breathe, but digest in, okay? And that helps clear things up. But your sinus problem should give you a clue that there's a gut problem in there um, so we, that we can clear that out. Alrighty. So when we are stressed, which a lot of people are, and that's fine if we have just a quick burst of stress, it's quite healthy, but when stress is maintained and it just continues and it doesn't stop, um, our energy is redirected away from the gut. Even if we're eating food or whatever, it's redirected from the gut to our brains and to the heart. Um, and then it leaves our gut behind, which means there's reduced activity in the gut. And when the gut function slows down, the food in there doesn't get moved along and, and the nutrients don't get absorbed. And then we start having a gut rot problem. And there's an overgrowth of bad bacteria, fungus and parasites. And then we, we're opening our, ourselves up to a lot of problems. And you know, who here eats and works at the same time? <laughs> yeah, a lot of us are guilty of that. Okay. <laughs> that, that is us not allowing ourselves to fully focus on our body absorbing and 
um, in digesting food properly. Okay, allow your brains to just slow down. Just give yourself 15 minutes to eat and just focus on, on eating so that your body can fully move things along, fully absorb things. And then we're not open ourselves up to bad gut problems. Now, gut problems are so interesting because uh, people can, you know, go to the doctors and get uh, amazing labels like IBS, pain, colitis, um, chronic fatigue syndromes, and, and many, many more labels. But just remember, they're just labels for a series of symptoms. So mm -hmm. when we help those symptoms go away, then your labels can go away too. Wow. You know, you didn't, you were born with that. It just, it developed because, you know, you've got rotten poop in there. <laughs> it sounds awful, but it, that's exactly what it is. Okay. We just need to help it. We send some energy down there, let it do its job, let it flow. All righty. So I, I ask a lot of people all the time, how often do you go? And if it's, you know, less than three times a day, then we need to get that problem solved because we need to get things moving along because when the, that, you know, the poop in there rots and the tissues in the intestinal lining and all the organs around it, it's going to be affected and it's gonna, not going to be fun. All right, so imagine your body not absorbing nutrients because your gut is compromised. That leads to nutritional deficiency and nutritional deficiency, there's a lot of problems that go with that. Irritability, depression, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. And when our cells are not fed because the nutrition is not um, being reached, I mean, you know, being sent to our cells, our mitochondria is not being fed. And so we lack energy. Okay. So I love it when my friend says, well, I went to the doctors and he said, I have fatigue. And I said, are you tired? Yes. Well, wow, he's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't take a scientist to tell you that you're tired because you, you said you're tired. You feel tired, and, you know. But then what do you do about it? You know, you just have a fancy label. What do you do? I tell everyone, clean it out. Clean your gut out. Start pooping away. <laughs> you know, and I have people come to me and say, hey, Jade, it's black and it's hard. And I'm thinking, okay, you're telling me this out of context. I don't know what you're talking about. And then ding, <laughs> it occurs to me, wait a minute, she's talking about the other thing. And yes, if you haven't gone to the toilet for a while, things can be, you know, very nasty in there. Okay. All right. Any questions, comments so far, guys? All good? Agree? Yep. All righty. So I call it traffic and debris. Because really it is, it's just traffic and debris in there and your body's not fully functioning, things are not flowing properly. So we have toxins, okay, um, that cause this traffic and debris from food, from medications, from other environmental toxins. Okay, and those, the cells have these receptors on the outside and those receptors are blocked. And the receptors are not able to send and receive information and the cells can't communicate properly. And when we can't communicate properly, we're not balanced and we have breakdown of, of uh, function. And so there's, there's lots of traffic jam. So that's the easiest way I, I can I understand it is just sending, um, you know, those the debris and the traffic and the, the rubbish out, the toxins out, and then your, your cells are going to be happy and it's going to function optimally. And your body will know what to do. Okay. If it needs to produce more happy chemicals, it will produce more happy chemicals. If it needs to absorb more nutrients, it will absorb more nutrients. Alrighty. So pregnancy brain is a complaint with a lot of pregnant women. That you know, in this this is exactly what I'm talking about. How um, you know your your energy is focused on something else, and it's not focused on the neurotransmitters in your gut or your brains. And so that's that's fine. What I suggest for those women, uh, it might not take it away completely because your body is really busy doing something very important. Um, but, uh, you know, just to just step back a little bit, relax more, uh, smell coriander and um, cardamom, and it will just help you uh, be able to focus more and remember more, okay? Because that, that can be, you know, annoying to, to people when they 
when they have that. All right, chemo brain is another thing that people complain about. And again, same thing. What is that? Traffic and debris in your system. And your body cells are so smart, very effective. As soon as it can, it'll isolate whatever it can't eliminate. Then it'll hold those toxins and the debris in your fat cells for dear life. Okay, because you, it doesn't want you to be hurt. But what happens is it keeps storing that and then it actually hurts itself. Um, and we, we tend to have other health problems. And this is another reason why I love essential oils because the essential oils are so small in molecular size. They can go into the, uh, through the cell membrane and into the cells and you know, open the cells up to cleansing and to releasing those toxins. And any time you release toxins with essential oils, you, you know that you need to drink a lot of water just to assist the body to flush things out. Okay, and so when we, um, as you know, release a lot of toxins, remember you might feel uncomfortable. I had a few people say to me, Oh, you know, I just had my oils and I opened it up and I started using it all, and all weekend I felt horrible, terrible. It's just, I, I think I'm allergic to it, I can't use it again. And I thought, Well, maybe they just use too much and their body is releasing a lot of toxins that make them uncomfortable. It's not the oils that make you uncomfortable. It's the toxins. Over time, you still can use the same amount of oils, but when the toxins are all gone and cleared, um, you know, you don't have that discomfort anymore. All right? The other way you can find out if you're doing a good job cleaning is to check your breath. Because <laughs> your breath is just the air from, you know, the, the gut. And if your gut is um, rotting there, you can actually feel it and smell it. Okay? And that affects your gums and your tongue. Okay, so when you clean up, you'll, you'll feel a lot smarter. Um, and, uh, you know, you'll have breath that smells great. You know what I mean. You know, you've met people that, whoa, hello. <laughs> you know, and no amount of brushing will help fix that problem. Okay, it's the root of it is in your gut. All right, I'm going to pause here. Does anyone want to say anything? I find, that, I find that very interesting about bad breath. A friend of mine suffers from that, and she's tried everything, but she's never thought of it being a gut problem. So mm. this is good information. Oh, well, yep. For yep. her. You know, very helpful information yep. for her. Awesome. Yeah. That'd be really good. Uh, just because, and then it'll go away completely. And she'll find happily there's other things that happen along the way that she didn't realize she didn't have. Because, you know, I felt like, you know what, I'm just getting old. You know, I'm forgetting things. And I'm thinking, wait a second. You know, I'm not that old, old, am I? Um, and once my gut is all clean, clean up and, you know, I, I go to conferences and I write things down. And sometimes I don't have to review it. I can just spit it out and remember it. And I'm thinking, whoa, I am so smart now. <laughs> it's just because, you know, my neurotransmitters are all happy. And things are not, you know, clogged up and stuck there and backed up. So it's just simple common sense now. And you can maintain that and keep it going. All right, crunch time tips. We cannot fully avoid... I just want to say something about the bad breath. I, I um, also had that problem ever since I was young. Um, but going through the cleanse and, um, you know, a couple times, uh, really cleaning out my gut and everything. <laughs> Um, that's eliminated that problem, and mm. I, um, Jade can vouch for that, right? <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> I have a personal experience with that. Yeah, that's right. All righty, guys. Crunch time tips. Um, this is when you know we have a lot of stresses. We don't have to eliminate everything. Sometimes a little, you know, bit of stress makes us do more stuff. You know, like sometimes we achieve 80% of the work in 20% of the time, which is great because, you know, we, we, you know, drag our feet and then finally when we're last hour, we think, ah, I've got to finish this. That's fine. Um, if it's just temporary and it's short, um, we can do this. To help our, um, our mind, um, we need to reduce food intake just a little bit. Okay, so don't eat too much when you really need your brains to be functioning. So before presentations and before I teach 
classes. Like we, we did a presentation a few weeks ago to a few hundred people. I thought, no, I'm not going to eat too much because I really need my head in the game. Otherwise, my body is going to be conflicted and try to either focus on digesting this food or, you know, helping my brain function. And so if we just remember that, um, that will really help. And the other thing is to drink wild orange lemon and cardamom those are my favorite oils when i really need my head in the game okay so wild orange is great for right brain lemon oil is great for left brain okay cardamom helps me get out of my situation and look at everything objectively okay instead of being um trapped under my own emotions and thoughts and things it just gets me out and sees things in a clear way so that i, I could function and um you know do my best all right so i hope that's helpful to everyone okay mm -hmm. and you actually get more done and you do a good job too yep i like the cardamom again i just want to point that out again because when i feel like i am presenting i just want to know what god wants me to say for those people for their sake and if i'm out of the game like get my head out out of it then I can fully receive downloads that I don't have to judge and comment on because I'm like, okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to say it anyways. And it's awesome because sometimes I think, oh, that's so smart. I'll write it down too. <laughs> and I was the one that, was, that said it. Okay. So that's, that's really awesome. I love um, cardamom. Okay. Now for immunity, the gut, all right, uh, gut health is very connected to um, immunity. You can see that in children. If the children have a bad gut problem, you can see that they're always sniffling. They've always got some sort of cold. They're, all, you know, they, they're just home all the time, taking sick days. Okay, so really, it's just an overgrowth of this excess of bacteria or fungus or parasite that needs to be removed. So, um, you know, that's poop stuck inside again. And what we need to do is just clean it out. Even children, we can give children a little bit of citrus oils to drink. We can rub it on their bottom of the feet, give them lots of water and help them cleanse all the toxins out. Okay. All right. So that is the immunity. Um, it helps with your energy. It helps with um, your ability to think. Okay, so that's your gut. And here are some suggestions, oil suggestions. Okay. Uh, so you see, yep, scroll down, yep. These are my top oils. There's so many other oils that I've used actually that I've um, suggested to people, but I feel like I, I'm always going back to these ones. Um, and so we, we can start here. So the first one here is lemon. And lemon breaks down mucus. We've got a lot of mucus and like I said, traffic. Um, it just breaks things down and helps things flow better. It helps increase our white blood cell count and just balance it up. Um, and it's very gentle as a cleaner. So, um, you know, everything what we do, or everything we put in our body, we always want to give it a hand just in case um, our, it makes it just simpler and easier for our body to digest and metabolize things. Okay, and lemon is the oil of focus and it helps with logical reasoning. Remember lemon, L for left brain. All right, so on the other hand, we have wild orange and that's a wonderful cleanser to just like other um, citrus oils. But remember, you know, even though it's the same citrus, it's citrus, it's not the same. I mean, it does similar, but slightly different things. So we want to have a combination of just and vary these oils, okay? Um, it helps you feel relaxed. Wild orange helps you feel abundance. And reminding you that you have a lot of time and a lot of energy. Even though sometimes, you, like I said, crunch time, you think, uh-uh. But when you're too stressed, you're not going to get all the ideas and, you know, creative juices out. And wild orange helps you do that. It says, come on, you can do it. Just bring it out and let it flow. So that's wild orange. So that's amazing. And um, you can just keep on putting it in your, your water and drink that daily. All right. And coriander. Coriander is the oil that we were just talking about just now. Um, again, it's very powerful in antioxidants. So it helps clean out things and it reminds you that you have the power to be you. Okay. And you know, that, that will help with the gut because the anxiety, it's stored there. 
So have you guys had a chance to drink coriander before? No? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Okay, the next one is ginger. So ginger is an amazing oil for digestion. It's warming, very warming. So it's one of those hot oils, but I think it, it's still drinkable. So I would put it in um, my water without, uh, yeah, you can't really dilute. You can just put a couple of drops of um, ginger in your water bottle and, and drink that. It's not very hot, but it's wonderful to, to break down more mucus and it warms the inside of you. Um, and I, I, it's very good with, you know, the fungus and things. So if you just drink it, smell it, rub it on the bottom of your feet, around the gut reflex, it's really great. It reminds you that you are powerful. Okay. Who here likes ginger? <laughs> Good. Anybody yeah. who does not like ginger? Okay. That's good. I've met a few people that don't like ginger. Um, and you can see that sometimes they forget that they have the ability to choose um, my little Emily, she is still working on ginger. Every time I put that in our curry, she's like, oh, man, mom, what did you do that for? <laughs> so, but it's really good for you. <laughs> Helps you feel like you can. You can do it. You're strong. All righty. Okay. So cardamom, I talked about that earlier. Okay. And it's just an oil that helps you look at things objectively. It really helps you see things in perspective. Okay, bergamot. All right, this is the oil that uh, I just, I love. One of my first loves. Okay, and it's similar to the other citrus oils, but it's, again, um, slightly different. But it gives you hope, gives you confidence, and it says, I can do it. It's an oil that's, I can do it. So that's your power. But it's funny, isn't it? It just helps you with your gut, but it also helps with um, you feeling confident too. It's so linked. Alrighty, so grapefruit is another oil that you can take internally. And I had a girlfriend, it's so funny because uh, this lady, she's, um, she's from New Zealand, she's Kiwi. And before we went to New Zealand, she was like, oh, Jade, when we go, I'll tell you about all of this food. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you all about these things that we're going to eat. And, you know, you should try this ice cream. You should try, you know, this sweet and all these things that's just wonderful and very bad for you <laughs> and um, I thought yep I'll, I'll give it a go when we go I'll taste it and um, I'm excited I'm happy anyway um, the whole time we were there she was drinking grapefruit and everywhere we went I'm like oh didn't you say that um, in New Zealand ice cream here is good and she's like yeah but I don't feel like it now and over and over uh, after a couple of days the same things happen with the, the cakes and things that she was telling me about before we left. And when we got <laughs> to a point where I'm like, what do you have in your water? And she's like, grapefruit. I just like the taste. And I'm like, oh, that's why. Because <laughs> she's honoring herself and her body says, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want all that ice cream. I don't want all that uh, cake and stuff. And so I told her, I said, do you know, realize what grapefruit's doing for you? <laughs> it's great. It's great what it's doing, but it really... It kind of helps you feel satiety, helps you feel like you don't need any of the junk and you have to, you're honoring yourself. You don't need that stuff anymore. Wouldn't that, would that be great, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of us say, oh, I just can't help it. I had two pieces of cake. And then now it's like, yeah, I'm all good. I don't know why. I just don't crave it. I don't need it. All righty. Hey, Jade, a, about, about a week ago, I got news that my A1C was rising. And so I, I pulled out my essential oil book and started looking into oils. And I started with that blend that you were talking about earlier on the um, coriander that Dr. Hill recommended. Uh -huh. And I have, I, I, I answer, well, instantly, I immediately changed my diet like 180 degrees and am completely satisfied. I don't even miss what my diet had been before. I love what I'm eating now and the freshness of the things. And so a lot of that probably is attributed to the uh, grapefruit that I'm putting in that capsule that I'm yeah. taking. Oh. 
Yeah. Well, wow, Sue, thank you for yeah. sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and all of those oars have a, a little bit of a different job, but it does, you know, helps you along the path. And you're right. Like, I don't miss the stuff that I used to like anymore. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yay. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you feel more energized, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Yay. So here is a picture, guys, that I thought was good because it's this lady with lots of muscles. It looks like she's got strength and energy and power. But, uh, you know, we can work on this, just looking at ourselves into the eyes and telling ourselves that, you know, we have the power. You have the power to reach your full potential. Okay. And it's been hard at first for me. Um, but I'm getting there and I, I can look at myself and I, I'm happy and I can stay, stay there for longer, <laughs> stay there in front of the mirror for longer. And that's really good. It, that's so interesting because I watch my kids and they're like, oh, I love my hair, I love this, and don't I look great? And I, I'm like, I just, I love the way you, you're so confident. <laughs> but here we look to see blemishes. Yeah. You, you know, we're just trained to see blemishes every, every since we're little. And now it's like a really big switch, mental switch, hey, to go, well, okay, I like the way I look. Okay, I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah. So this is amazing because as we use the oils, that's what we're going to be able to do. We're going to be able to allow ourselves to feel powerful. All right, so we're going to go to the mental side now. This here, I get excited about these because this is where the root is. Otherwise, we're using oils forever and not really fully allow us to um, make these amazing permanent changes within. Okay. So I said, in order to continue enjoying healthy um, gut health, we need to be mindful of how we think because what we think creates our reality. Okay, and um, if we're, our reality right now isn't ideal, we know that there's some things that we need to change. Okay, right? So sometimes we, we allow things to affect us and say, well, it's because of all these reasons. But um, if our reality right now isn't where we want it to be, then we need to find something to, to change there. Okay. Because uh, something we are we're doing right now that's uh, causing it. Alrighty. So, are you all agreeing with that? Are you happy with that? You know that's um, we we do create a reality. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't I don't know so much as we create our reality as as much as it is we create our response to our reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we the circumstances see. outside us we can't control, but our response to those, mm -hmm. I think, yep. we need to control. Yep, yep, that's right. So sometimes when it rains, it rains on all of us, mm -hmm. right? But then we can choose to enjoy the rain, or or say, oh, it's all this fault, and I can't do any of these things. That's right. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Yep, so we do have that. And the reality is we're happy. We can see that this is meant to be. You know, it's, it's, it's good that that's happened. I get it. I understand. I appreciate it. Okay. Yep. Thank you for clarifying that. So um, even, you know, with us, we have a lot of habits that we need to break. Like I said earlier, sometimes it's because, you know, when we were in school and then, you know, you do something wrong and your name's written on the board or, you know, you get a check mark next to your work or whatever it is. It's just sort of a self-worth problem. And uh, we just have to get out of it because some of us feel like we're just on this bouncy roller coaster ride or whatever. We're happy one day and the next moment we're not again. Oh, what's wrong with me? And we're happy and then we're down again. Oh, what's wrong? It's okay. What we need to remember is we're going to get ourselves into a habit that we're using the oils, we're putting the oils on, even when we're not feeling down, so that we can keep ourselves up, okay? And being down some days is great um, because we really will appreciate the high when we get there, but we don't necessarily have to let ourselves, you know, to fluctuate so much like that. And eventually, as we get better and create healthy habits, um, mental habits, 
then we don't fall into the pits so often. Does that make sense? You'll enjoy happiness um, longer and um, it'll be, you know, more, there'll be just more peace in your life. Okay. Alrighty. So um, when just pick the oils that you like, and we talked about those oils earlier, your cardamom, your bergamot, your, um, what was it again? Uh, ginger, coriander, grapefruit, all those wonderful oils, lemon, wild orange, just pick some of them. And what you do is just to create new mental, powerful scripts or affirmation. And, you know, these are just some suggestions. I am powerful. So using your ginger, I am powerful. Um, using your card, uh, coriander, I honor myself. Okay, I'm safe. I love myself. I choose good, goodness, light, love. Okay, I am loved. I am enough. Okay, so Ben, you want to scroll up a little bit there? All righty, guys. So do you, do you see that? that there oops um the affirmation then you was yep there we go okay so um any questions comments i see cheryl joined us just now <laughs> yep hi oh, hey. is, is this good and is this um easy enough guys just using the oil smelling it just to help our mental powers changing mm -hmm. yeah. Very easy. All righty. And then it goes to the spiritual side. Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, I like, I appreciate the information from, uh, you know, the wise people of the past, the, you know, the understanding of chakras and stuff. In my mind, what it is, is just energy zones, okay? A spiritual energy zones, that's all. Um, it's not a, like for me, it's not a religion or anything. It's just helping me understand you know what the third chakra is about the willpower, the ambition and action. And I get that. I get that. When we ha have the, all this gut problem, we don't feel like doing anything. We don't have that energy to do stuff. We don't get excited about things. Um, you know, we can plan things out and then we never get around to doing stuff. And it's frustrating. But once you start cleaning out and clearing out your gut, then suddenly you do. You feel good here yeah, and then you do take action. And, you, you know, you jump head on and run towards your goals and things that you wouldn't normally do. Okay. So a lot of us, when we have um, like a third chakra concern or gut concern, it, it um, is linked to our liver, our pancreas, our gallbladder, the spleen and the stomach. Because, you know, like I said, if you have an overgrowth of this fungus and bacteria and parasites, it's going to travel and... Yeah, you know, go into the other organs too, all right? So the root of it all uh, is just fear emotions. <clears throat> and fear emotions is like shame, embarrassment, self-consciousness, anger, anxiety, insecurity, frustration. Those are just examples, but they're all fear emotions, okay? And you know that your you know, when you start journaling, you can recognize those fear emotions and then change it into some sort of faith energy, which is I'm safe, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm confident. And then you can really allow yourself to, you know, spiritually heal. Okay? Because fear and faith, it doesn't, it can't exist together. You only can have one thing in that space and it's either or. Okay, and when you're, you're spiritually connected to your power source, and for me it's God, um, then you have this never ending source of power to access. And so, you know, here's this energy that uh, you can actually call down and use and share, and um, it's never ending. So, I, I don't feel um, drained when I'm with people, when I um, help people, because I, when I'm really connected to my power source, God, um, but when I'm, I'm not connected, I'm going to tell you now that that energy around the gut area, around that middle part, it gets drained so quickly, right? And that is an indicator to me that I'm not connected. 
okay? And so I see a lot of people saying, oh, no, I don't want to go out in public and I don't want to talk to people. You know, they drain me, they drain me. And it's because they're, they're allowing themselves to pull that energy out from themselves instead of, you know, from the power source, the never-ending power source. Okay, so I hope that helps. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> yeah. 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 So opening up for questions, comments, because I'm pretty much done here. So guys, if you're looking at healthy weight, this is a wonderful way to just start. Okay, fixing your gut is a way to, to help with that because then you feel less bloated and um, you will, your, your tummy you will feel more firm and, you know, your gut is going to be healthier. I don't know, I have a sparkle on my face. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Did you want to say anything more about the clean? Um, the gut oh, cleanse? yes. Um, so we have a link to the gut cleanse here on this site. Um, yeah, and that's a physical way of helping you, you clean out the gut. It's a 30 day cleanse. Um, and yeah, let's click there then. There's a link. Oops, there we are. We have a video there, guys, to help you with the cleanse. And um, we have email series that will give you an email every day. It's a very short email reminding you what to take and um, what you might be feeling and explaining what's happening inside your body. And if you want to um, join our Facebook group and um, you can, we can share information, ask questions as well. So if people have been through the cleanse, if people are going through the cleanse together, say that you, oh, I've got a headache, you know, is everybody experiencing this too? Or my pee really stinks, everyone. <laughs> is that normal? Um, and, you know, and you can share that and people can comment and tell you, you're okay, keep going. Yeah, so that's our 30 day cleanse. But I, I really like focusing on the spiritual side, the mental side, the emotional side, because then you help yourself heal more permanently. And you're happy. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Your power, your gut, your power, does that make sense? Yes. Got to get that gut together. <laughs> Got to <laughs> get that gut together now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's right. You know, the um, Ginger, you were saying that um, it reminds us that we are uh, powerful. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the emotional side. Is there other oils that, you know, resemble that same tool? Um, like a self-assurance oil, which is like yes. bergamot and cassia. Those are mm -hmm. self-assurance oils. Oh, but if okay. you look at the plant, it gives you a clue. You know, ginger is sort of like a ginseng, you know, like a root, and it's got like things coming out. <laughs> mm -hmm. so it helps holistically, whole body power. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I have shopping to do, Jade. I have some shopping to do. Yeah, and I'm upset that there's no bergamot. I was looking for it and it's they they said that it's um I guess temporarily out. But I yeah, hope I, it's I just checked on that too. It looks like it's just temporarily out. Sad. I hope it's coming back. That's the one that I need. That's the one that I'm looking for that I didn't get yet. And when I decide to get it, it's gone. <laughs> you know, my friend went to Italy to the mm -hmm. farm and she said, Jade, it's just exactly what they, they said it was. It's so beautiful. It's not so nice. They're so kind and clean. And yeah, mm -hmm. so it's from Italy. I'm sure they'll be there soon. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. cool. Because they use it in all of the, a lot of the cleaning, um, with the self-care products, you know, the uh, body butters and things, they use it for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to get some concoctions, you know, made up for myself. I've been doing the, the thyroid and um, uh, my friend made uh, an oil blend for me called Lifting Calm. And uh, there's another one, Energize. So, like, I have these three little recipes, and I've been using them and feeling great and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, like I, I stated in one of the previous classes, 
uh, there was always a borderline issue with my thyroid. And by the time I went to um, a couple of weeks back for my physical, everything was in normal range. So oh. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> so I'm Great like, yes. Mm -hmm. Things, those oils do work and they're a God sent. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for the messengers. <laughs> where it's like what do I work on now it's not a lot yeah. anymore <laughs> at first it's like oh I've got so much to do oh you know? that's exactly I, I'm gonna keep doing it until I'm done and, and just share 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 that's the yeah. plan <laughs> well, good on you so happy. Mm -hmm. thank yeah. you so how are you doing guys everyone else yeah good <laughs> Cheryl there? Yeah. Cheryl's from Australia. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Cheryl? I'm doing really well, Jay. Thank you. Good. I just want to tell you guys, Cheryl has such a big heart. She opened up her home and she held like several classes in a row and like everybody joined and she kind of freaked out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What, what's happening? You know, because everybody needs this and everybody's excited that it's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Throws yourself mm -hmm. into this new world of, you know, essential oils and helping people. And yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Yep. Anybody else? Hi, Jean. Hi, hi Jade. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> It's good to see you. It's good to see you yeah. too. I'll get a hold of you. I saw the 30-day cleanse in my store. I'm, I'm done with all my chemo. Um, got a couple of surgeries ahead of me and radiation mm -hmm. and starts in a couple of weeks. But um, <sighs> oh God help her. It's all right. Let it out. It's okay. We're here for you, Jean. The oils have been my saving grace and my family too. And it's really nice to see my children and my husband taking it daily too now. So that's a plus. Mm. Yay! Thank you. We're here well for done. you. Well done. We pray for you. Thank Keep you. it up. And that's kind of funny how. Um, this morning I felt like I needed to add that chemo brain thing. <laughs> and, and it's, um, you know, I guess it's for you, Jean, because I, I wasn't thinking about putting it in. I thought, no, no, we need to. Because then we realise that sometimes when I'm not thinking straight, I'm not feeling straight, it's not my fault. It's not because you're broken. <laughs> you're not broken. It's just lots of traffic in there. We just got to clear yeah. it out. Yeah. Mm. I've, I've missed a lot of the... The, the training things you've discussed but i'll try and retrieve it all and go through it so yep. thanks no, we've recorded it so you can oh, awesome thank it. you love you guys thank you we're praying for you mm -hmm. yeah oh, wow. well, thank you everyone any yeah. more questions? and in the video unless anybody wants to uh add anything um before i stop the recording all right i'm stopping the recording here Thank you, everybody.